In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on circles. The problem that we have right now here is the circumference of a circle exceeds the diameter by 16.8 centimeters. Find the radius of the circle. Well, the data given here is nothing but just by how much the circumference exceeds the diameter. It exceeds the diameter by 16.8 centimeters. So that means to say that the circumference is 16.8 centimeters more than the diameter. So, say for example, we need to write this equation. So, say if we take circumference as c and if, uh, if we take diameter as d, then we've got c equals d plus 16.8, right? Is that what it means, right? Because the circumference exceeds the diameter by 16.8. If d is, you know, 10, circumference is going to be 26.8. So, that what, that's what it says. So, now what we have to do is we need to find the radius of the circle. So, all that we have to do is the circumference is given by 2 pi r. And the diameter is nothing but 2 times r, right? So, 2r plus 16.8. So, now, you know, this is an equation that we've got. The problem almost ends here because all that is left from here is to just calculate, you know, do some mathematical operations. Nothing else left. So, we've got 2, which is a constant, and pi is a constant, which is 22 by 7. And then we've got the unknown r equal to 2r plus 16.8, right? So, now we've got 45. 4r over 7 minus 2r equals 16.8. So now taking LCM, the LCM should be 7. So 44r minus 14r over 7 equals 16.8. 44r minus 14r is 30r. So 30r equals 16.8 times 7. So r is 16.8 times 7 over 30. So which is nothing but 3. 0.92 centimeters. So on solving this, we get the radius to be equal to 3.92 centimeters. So that's all. So all you had to do here was just, you know, write this part. That's all is what you have to do. Once you do that, it's easy. So very simple problem. So let's uh, solve another problem now. So we've got another question which reads like this. Two circles touch externally. So first, you know, let's translate this into a Diagram. Those two circles touch externally. So this is not that precise, but do bear with it. It's just an illustration. So say, I mean, both of them are going to have their centers, right? So let's say, let's name this C1 and let's name this C2 and, you know, let's join. Right? This is the radius of C1 and this is the radius of C2. The sum of their areas is 130 pi square centimeters. So add the area of C1 and add the area of C2. This is what you get. And the distance between their centers is 14 centimeters. So the, you know, this is one center, this is one center. The total distance between them is 14 centimeters. So find the radii of the circles. So you need to find R1 and R2, right? You just can't divide 14 by 2 and say, you know, this is 7 and this is 7 because the circles are not of the same size. Right. So now the sum of their areas is 130 squared centimeters. Let's say C1 equals pi R1 squared because radius of the circle 1 is R1. And C2 equals pi R2 squared. So now C1 plus C2 equals 130 pi squared centimeters or pi R1 squared plus pi R2 squared equals 130 pi. So let's take, let's write pi as, you know, we can take out pi as common here. You would get r1 squared plus r2 squared equals 130 pi. The pi and the pi gets cancelled on both the sides. So you've got r1 squared plus r2 squared equal to 130. r1 squared plus r2 squared equals 130, right? So we've got one of the equations now. Another thing that we can take from the question is R1 plus R2 equals 14 centimeters. So that is another data that we've got, right? R1 plus R2 equals 14. So this is, you know, let's give it as the second equation. So let's take the second equation, which is R1 plus R2 equals 14. So now what we'll do is let's square these on both sides.
Squaring both sides, we get R1 plus R2 the whole square equals 14 square. So R1 plus R2 the whole square equals R1 square plus R2 square plus 2R1 R2 because that is A plus B the whole square equals 14 square is 196. So now if you see, we've got R1 square plus R2 square is 130. So just substitute this data in the place of R1 square plus R2 square is 130. So we've got 130 plus 2 R1 R2 equals 196. So 2 R1 R2 equals 196 minus 130. And we've got 2 R1 R2 equals 196 minus 30 is uh, 66. And we've got R1 R2 to be equal to 66 by 2, which is 33. So what we've got is uh, we've got R1 R2 equal to 33. So now what we have to do is since we've got R1, R2 and since we've got R1 plus R2, we need to use another one, you know, which is R1 minus R2 the whole square. R1 minus R2 the whole square would be R1 square plus R2 square minus 2 R1, R2, right? So what is it? Now R1 minus R2 square stays like that. R1 square plus R2 square is 130. And then we've got R1, R2 as 33. So minus 2 times 33, which is 130 minus 66, which is nothing but 64. So R1 minus R2, the whole square is 64. So if R1 minus R2, the whole square is 64, then R1 minus R2 should be square root of 64, which is 8. So what it says is the difference between the two radiuses, the radii R1 minus R2 equals 8. We've got R1 plus R2 and we've got R1 minus R2. So we've got the second equation here and let's name this the third equation. Let's solve the second and the third equation simultaneously and find the answer. We've got R1 plus R2 equal to 14 and R1 minus R2 equal to 8. R2, R2 gets cancelled. So we've got R1 plus R2 is 2R1 which is equal to 22. So if 2 R1 equals 22, R1 will be equal to 22 over 2, which is 11 centimeters. So R1 is found to be 11 centimeters. If R1 is 11 centimeters, both of them sum up to 14 centimeters. So this should obviously be 3 centimeters. So this is way smaller circle than what is drawn here. So anyways, this is just an illustration again. So this is how we solve this problem. So let me quickly brief you. The question is two circles are touching externally, which we've drawn here, and it says that the sum of the areas, the areas of the two circles add up to 130 pi square centimeters, and the distance between the centers is 14 centimeters. So you just need to find the radii of the circle. So what we have to do is we just need to form an equation using the sum of the areas is this statement here, which gave us R1 square plus R2 square equal to 130. And then we also had another data which said that the sum of their radii or the distance between the centers is 14 centimeters which is nothing but adding r1 and r2 you get 14 right so now since we had uh, r1 square plus r2 square we just gotten this one we are just squaring here because only when we square here do we get a term like this so once you get a term like this you can use 130 substitute that and then get r1 r2 as 33 now we just simply can't, you know, find R1, R2 without another one. So what we do is we make use of this one, R1 minus R2 the whole square equal to, you know, R1 square plus R2 square minus 2 R1, R2 because we have a value for R1 square plus R2 square and also a value for R1, R2, right? So we do that and then we find R1 minus R2 as 8. By getting this, you know, we've got a similar equation, which is R1 plus R2 equals 4, you know, which gives rise to, you know, to an opportunity where we can use simultaneous equation to solve, which is way easier than the other, other methods. So that's exactly why we arrive at this equation and then use the equation 3 and equation 2 to solve simultaneously and then find either R1 or, or R2. Now, since we found R1 to be 11 centimeters, it is pretty evident from the given data here that there's some of the radii is 14 centimeters. So one is 11, the other should obviously be 3. So 11 plus 3 makes it of 14 centimeters. So this is what this problem is all about. So I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more such problems based on circles.